Hello and welcome to August 1977. Uh, not a bad front cover for this month. Um, on the front here we have Afonzi, The Kids Don't Know, Henry Winkler interviewed. We've got Wet Women, Patty Maguire and Friends Conquer the Colorado. Patty Maguire, of course, being our Playmate of the Year. Uh, Playboy's Pro Football Forecast, The Perils of Living Together, and Death Drugs and the Double Cross, John Le Carr's New Spy Thriller. We have some moisturizer there from Brute. We've got Gilby's Gin and the Playbill with some Benston Hedges cigarettes. The cover story, this month's cover features December 1971 Playmate Karen Christie, who last graced our cover on February 1974. Karen is now working as a fashion model in Dallas. The cover was conceived and designed by West Coast photo editor Marilyn Grabowski and shot by photographer Philip Dixon. Says Dixon, I tried to capture what the aftermath of a pillow fight would look like, sort of messy but erotic. We have, again, the Playboy interview, Harry Winkler, candid conversation there. Uh, the Honourable Schoolboy by uh, John Le Carr, that's the featured um, piece for this month. And we've got the Playboy's uh, Pro Football Preview, uh, which I know some of you like. And what was the other one that stood out for me as well? I think it was the Jules Siegel piece, Kill Them and Eat Them. This is the opinion uh, part. Got some pens there from Schaefer and some Heineken beer. Le Car versus La Competition and the world of Playboy here. Uh, who do we have? Larry Dubois, uh, senior editor uh, Lawrence Gonzalez below. Got some Pall Mall cigarettes. Dear Playboy letters. This guy here looks like, I'm not sure if this is him, but the guy out of Scarface, Manny. Uh, I think that's him. I can't remember the actor's name. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. But it looks like him anyway. Uh, Dear Playboy Letters, the interview with the gang from NBC Saturday Night. Uh, Playboy May is superb. You must at least have set a record for the number of crazies in one interview. I can't wait for Playboy interviews the New York Jets. So there's a few pieces coming in there. Some more letters as well with a little bit of nudity just on the side there. Knowing what a man wants makes Playboy the one magazine every man wants. The finest, in fact, fiction and photography. Add the convenience of having Playboy delivered right to your door and the big savings off the newsstand price. Um, 12 great issues for $12. And we've got Winston cigarettes talking of subscriptions um my friend david meesey is just always well, planning to reduce the subscription cost on his magazine which is me say magazine that's m-e-c-e magazine.com um i'll announce it properly when the price is reduced so you can subscribe but that's a magazine that i'm contributing to as well as the uk editor but i'll do a full video on that as and when it goes live we've got the new mazda rx3 sp and we've got up your sandbox at the top there and Playboy's Hall of Fleeting Fame. Got some events there as well. And eight great ways a Playboy Club key turns the finer things your way. Movies, we've got a bridge too far and it gets um, some pretty heavy praise in this magazine. And we've got a separate feature for that movie as well. Um, here we have a little, just a little feature, a little mention of um, Smoking and the Bandit, which is a film that I kind of grew up with in the 80s. It was one that we always watched. A former stuntman making his first feature, director Hal Needham, has turned out a rambling wreck of a comedy titled Smokey and the Bandit. Although stunt drivers and photographers seem to do all the work, Burt Reynolds and Sally Field are the movie's nominal stars who go hot-rodding through the South, leaving carnage behind them, hotly pursued by Jackie Gleason as a redneck sheriff named Bolford T. Justice. Always enjoyed them. Uh, when I was younger. And then we've got um, film clips, Star Wars, as you probably heard, all your Flash Gordon fantasies updated gloriously uh, for the 70s with robots, monsters, good and bad guys, intergalactic dogfights, plus Anik Guinness for a touch of class. Something for the kid in everybody. So there's some more features there. The Volkswagen, Skirocco, the Dasher and the Rabbit. We have music here as well. Minolta. A and C. Panatellas.
can you find the oil well in this picture? This is from the performance company, Philips 66. And then we've got some mention of some books as well. Um, what have we got here? Nothing that was on my notes. Selected shorts, insights and outcries on matters large and small. And this one is by Peter J. I think it's Ognibine, I think that's pronounced. And this is about um, American weapons uh, being supplied to sort of countries all over the world who are fighting each other from India and Pakistan. I think right down to uh, countries like Turkey and Cyprus who have all used weapons supplied, supplied by the US, which again goes on today not to mention the amount of weapons we left behind in Afghanistan when I say we I mean I think the US more but um I think I'm a honorary US citizen now but um yeah I mean it's with the, the amount of weapons that get left around the world and the amount of weapons that we sell to nations that shouldn't really be getting them is is crazy but that's the way it is how to influence people I've got gold label cigars there, some cost headphones, the Playboy Advisor as well. It says, I've noticed that the inner sleeves of some of the albums I buy come with turned down corners. One of my friends said that care should be taken to unfold the paper on the grounds that when the sleeve is inside the record jacket, the extra thickness of material would press upon the surface of the record and possibly cause warpage. It sounds logical, but is it worth the trouble? Your friend obviously knows and loves records. His advice is sound. Some manufacturers turn down the corners of the inner sleeve to add to aid insertion into the album jacket. The same phenomenon may occur accidentally during the handling. Don't know much about vinyls. I haven't got a vinyl player. Let me know if you have. Triumph TR7 there. The Playboy Sex Pole as well. <coughs> Pioneer Stereos. The Playboy Forum. Let's just see if there's any topics that stood out for me here. Playboy in the Playboy Forum, the Playboy in Court. This is um, Forum Newsfront has become a legal research tool. In a brief filed in the Illinois uh, Appellate Court, First District, we recite and quote from a case discovered because we read Playboy. We represent a new dancing soft drink bar. Such establishments prosper in areas where local ordinances ban nudity in conjunction with the sale of liquor. Uh, the anti-nude anti rules cannot constitutionally be applied across the board where no liquor is served. Our client has had its food and uh, public amusement licenses revoked as a result of alleged lewd conduct on the premises. A woman allegedly fondled the private parts of an undercover cop uh, through his clothing. In our appeal brief, we cite the Florida case reported in the March Forum newsfront in which a patron was allegedly fondled in a bar and the conviction was overturned by the Florida Supreme Court. If we win this appeal, Playboy deserves some of the credit. So I've mentioned before that Playboy is always involved in some kind of legal thing. There's always something they're helping out with, something they're funding. Um, there's some good topics on here, which you can have a read through. Uh, no pot harm found, protecting the children. Um, we've got New Mexican drug policy. And again, Cincinnati censorship. You'll remember that feature on uh, censorship in that area on different magazines and that kind of thing. There's a nice piece here by Robert Shea, Kids in Pornography. Playboy's been criticised with um, things about child pornography and underage girls. And there's quite a strong article here from Robert Shea who uh, breaks down where people take advantage of the um, or laws around child pornography because obviously it's very strict and as it should be. Uh, but people then push one step further and say that all nudity and all porn has to go because children can be included in it. And there was something I watched this evening uh, called Money Shot on Netflix, which is about Pornhub and how people were uploading videos of um, underage girls on there, you know, girls who shouldn't be on there, even some rape things. And because of the amount of videos they have, they found it, I think, hard to moderate all of that. So there's lots of things going on in the world today, even with pornography now, it's not a a simple thing to govern unfortunately and so obviously they get a lot of flack for it lots of legal cases going after them there's some going through at the moment in u.s court um about trying to limit pornography uh, what else do we have henry winkler a candid conversation with sorry about that henry the fonds and here he is looking very young i have to say i know he's a an american kind of icon i think uh, when I was king of Mardi Gras, I was told I had more security than the president of the United States. I could walk no further than 50 feet. 
and then BMW there. Every time I turn around, I see myself. I look in store windows, on t-shirts, on fans' chests, on their legs, everywhere. I see myself. So he must have been pretty famous. I didn't think he was that famous, but apparently, according to this, he was uh, almost like an Elvis character, just mobbed everywhere he went. Colesburg beer. I was just offered $1 million by a major jeans company, my friend. Can you dig it? $1 million in 30 seconds, and I turned it down. So, um, that's crazy. That's a lot of money for the 70s. Uh, what you do to yourself, or you get in him. I fucking pinch myself from here to Timbuktu. I'm bloody inside. This is my first major motion picture, and I'm scared shit. Got Viceroy cigarettes, and we have our first uh, fictional piece by John Le Carre. Uh, this is a first look at the new novel, The Honourable Schoolboy. The old plane limped across the war torn landscape, and the agent drank scotch with its weird pilot, trying to get answers British intelligence needed from a new blockbuster novel by the author of Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy. There's actually a very good film of that, I think, which is a British production as well. Modern film, I think it's only in the last 10 years that that was made. Some nice artwork on here as well. Cartoon there by Dadini. Uh, caption is, that's what I hate about small towns. All those tiny prying eyes. Riverboat Gamblers. And this is Patty Maguire. Our adventurer of the year. Talks playmate Hope, Olsen and Bunny Cindy Russell into submitting their beautiful bodies to the whims of the mighty Colorado. I know uh, Patty Maguire is generally a fan favourite. I know her videos seem to get a lot of views and a lot of comments particularly I think her cover which was on a couple of issues back as well white water ramblers going down the Colorado in a fat rubber raft is a strictly fun and strictly fun and games if you're looking for adventure try shooting the rapids in a dinky little dory this is an article by Edward Abbey and we've got a Smilby cartoon here. Hi, honey, you're going to have to shove over a bit. A movie Too Far, Marjorie Rosen. Um, I don't think I've ever seen uh, A Bridge Too Far. Um, I, I must, I'm going to have to find it now. I've read this piece. Um, I'm certainly going to track that down. It must be on Netflix or something like that. Kill Them and Eat Them, opinion by Jules Siegel. Sooner or later, aliens are going to land. Here is a modest proposal for the best way to greet them. And then we have our playmate of the month, Julia Linden, is a high-riding equestrian and the fastest phone in the West. Slightly different look for Playboy, I think, with this model. Um, it's probably just the hair or something like that, but she just feels a little bit different to what Playboy would normally choose. And some of the photos are a little bit different as well. Um, let me know what you think. I think it's because she looks different to most models that Playboy has. Here's a centerfold. And the, the photography is unusually bright as well. Um, seems to, you, Normally it's got a bit of a, more of a blur to it. Um, and here we have the Playmate data sheet, which is something new. This is fairly recent. Playboy's party jokes as well. Got Raymond cartoon there. And the caption is, we're better make it to the Congress of the Jackrabbit. My husband's due home in five minutes. Feet of Play, what to put on your dogs for fun and games by David Platt. Got some Nike trainers there. Cohabitation, The Tender Trap, article by Emma Stevens and Stephen Holmes. Recent court rulings make living together a financial crapshoot with the dice loaded against you. Actually, nice artwork there by Robert Hines. Nice illustration. I mean, it's really actually a, a very good illustration when you look at how realistic some of that is. It's really well done. Auto Exotica, an eclectic array of machines for those who think that two is a very large number. So some quite odd models there. The sports van, VW Bug chassis. So these are all like kind of custom, like kit cars almost. Corvette GT wagon. 
it looks like the Aston Martin um, shooting brake, this Corvette here. It's got a very similar shape to it. It's a nice looking car, actually. If you, no, it's, the, it's the Ferrari shooting brake, I think it's called. Uh, it's a really nice model. Uh, Buck Brown, the caption is, didn't I tell you that... Pa didn't I tell you that backpacking was a lot of fun? Playboy is pro football preview and early line on teams and players in both conferences of the NFL by Anson Mount, our regular contributor there. And another pictorial for you here. Beautiful ladies of joy abound in this movie set in Paris. Most renowned house of pleasure. And it's Madame Claude. It says Madame Claude's courtesans include from left to right Marie Christine de Chaise. Babik Nutsen and Dale Haddon, photographer Tony Kent. I've got photographs from Sigma Agency here as well. Sl again, slightly different photography here. It's a, it's a little bit different, like the, the setting for these. Some of it's pretty good. And John Dempsey, uh, cartoon, the caption is, you certainly have a unique approach to self-portraiture, Mr. Ramsworthy. And tying one on, playmate um, Karen Hafter has discovered all kinds of interesting things to do with her swimsuit, so have other people. And the ribald classic there, uh, Pussies in the Well, this is from... Raja Reginio Menti by Pietro Aratoni, Aretino in 1534. Um, we've got some Smirnoff. Uh, cartoon, B. Clyburn. Caption, don't make a false move. He's very suspicious. And, and now for the winners in Playboy's Playmate Photo Contest. And the contest winner, Dan Cooper Smith, 24, when told he had been chosen numero, uno, chosen numero uno, said, I'm simply blown away. The other prizes are great, but I really look forward to visiting Playboy in Chicago. He had nothing but um, bond mats for his model, Lenkart Novak, 20. So it's a nice set of photos for everyone who's here for the nudity and the ladies. Seagram's VO. Little Annie Fanny, all the fans of that. And we've got some Kent cigarettes. Not too much else just here. Um, I think this is a Dink Seagull cartoon. I'm just trying to find, oh no, Snaid, sorry. You can just see the signature just up here. And this is, this is one hell of a time for you to have instrument failure. And we've got the Astro Trimmer Waistline Reducer. I assume this is just some kind of compression thing that you put on, or is it vibrating? I'm not too sure. We've got some Jim Beam. Cartoon Gay and Wilson. This plea bargaining has really gotten out of hand. And here's all these people with their various trades. This guy's even brought a little goat along. He's got a lamp there as well. Again, Wilson is just completely insane with his artwork. God knows what his, how his brain works. Um, got Think Tank, an insider's look at everything you need to know to keep up with and flourish in the latter part of the 20th century. Uh, Jin, Jinzeng Power. Um, we've got technology there as well. Assembly line laser. And we've got some sports and medicine and various other topics, behavior. Ericsson cartoon, tell me Countess Alexandrovna, it, is it true what they say about the serfs giving great head? And some more Playboy t-shirts there. Still um, sold on the Playboy store today. They, they've got some of the classic versions that look like those. Worth checking out if you're into the Playboy merchandise. I'm not sure what the prices are though. Probably a little bit more now, fifty dollars maybe, something around around that price range. Got Trait and Light cigarettes. 
Playboy Pop Puree, uh, Nixon Framed Again, one of the other ones is Steady Tiger. And uh, Mike Williams, I said if we don't get a haircut soon, we're in grave danger of becoming an endangered species. Uh, we've got the Porsche and Audi. Uh, this is the Porsche 924. I don't know why it has the Porsche plus Audi there. I didn't think Porsche had any history with Audi. I'll have to have a look into that. And what else do we have? Not too much here. It's a bit of a smaller issue. Uh, folks cartoon caption, Jane, that was last year. This is Samantha. And we've got some real cigarettes. Playboy on the scene, Habitat, your own light show. We've got audio and new ways with sound. We've got Bose mentioned there, the Bose 901. One of them one I haven't heard of is the Nakamichi Model 630. Obviously JVC I've heard of. Grooming, face foliage, a primer, and we've got gadgets, be a summer sport, and grapevine. We've got Tom Bradley mentioned there, Alan Hynek. And cutting room at the top, Deed Allen, Moneyed Bunny, uh, Sarah Lounsd, Lounds, sorry. This one's actually quite interesting. I didn't get to fully read this one. Um, but this is a professor of astronomy at Northwestern University and director of the new Center for UFO Studies in, in Vanston, Illinois, has maintained his credibility as a UFO investigator for 29 years by adhering to a scientific approach to the question of extraterrestrial visitors. But after a US News and World Report disclosed that the CIA holds unsettling information about UFOs, and the brush fire and public interest sparked by Jaws, director Steven Spielberg's forthcoming UFO film, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Dr. Heineck apparently feels freer to discuss his views on the mystery. Um, it's interesting because there's still massive talk of UFOs at the moment in the news. There's still lots of uh, revelations that the FBI are apparently releasing more and more information as we're going, going along. But we'll see. There's still nothing concrete there. But next month, we have a nice issue. We've got Barbara Streisand in the Playboy interview. We've got Erwin Shaw with Beggar Man Thief. Uh, Art Buckwald returns down the sign and up to up the Pontamac. Um, what else do we have? The Playboy Pigskin Preview. Everything you always wanted to know about American public opinion. And we've got Back to Campus Fashions, of course, with David Platt. Um, and Pyramid Power. Will this ancient shape sharpen razor blades, cure impotence, and fallen ache... Um, Arches Playboy provides a do it yourself model with which you conduct your own consumer test. Got arrow on the back with milkmaids, just on the back, camel filters. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, check out the video shorts we have, check out the podcasts that we've, we've done recently, uh, and that'll be updated very soon with another podcast, hopefully with two uh, previous playmates. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you probably on the weekend for our September 1977 review.